All right, greetings and welcome. We are playing uh, Rune Ball. So this, if you have watched any of the other videos, um, excuse me, I'm turning off fan on here just to get, get a little bit of a little bit of air going in here. I mean, I'm generally chilly, but it is generally uh, it's a little stuffy in this closed office. So strangely enough, I'm, I am at the same time cold and want to breeze. <laughs> so welcome to old age. Anyway, um, so our next tabletop game, I think, might be one of the options is a RPG Blood Bowl-like cross. So we're playing, we're, we're writing the rules for a game that is akin to rugby. Sevens with a little bit of uh, passing also. And we have two teams that we rolled up. The Terrors versus the Dusters. Um, the teams are both rolled up with sort of the, the basic stat, uh, stat mechanism that we use in the RPG. Um, a couple of them have little uh, perks that we gave them. Uh, none of them are have any experience, though. Um, per se, we have a couple of veterans on the team, and those are the characters with, and I'm going to actually update him too. Those are the characters you see, Raph and Al Gore, both have some experience in the league. Um, Boris is also pretty good. So you see, we have, a, we have, we have some, a couple, uh, a couple players that are a little bit better than the others. On, on each team. Uh, I think the advantage goes to the Dusters is my my outright take, simply because Boris has a the girl back home perk, which means he has a locket, and before the game he looks at it and that gives him inspiration. He gets a plus one to any skill. We're gonna pick plus one block because block is so useful early on uh, in these types of matches. Having said that, with his skills, man, he would be great to catch the ball or pass the ball or whatever. Um, but you look at these teams, and you can, like I said, see them in the upper right there. You look at these team cards, and I go, even though the Teeth Man have maybe a slight average, oops, I need to take some of these guys off the field, a slight average bonus. Um, uh, I'm going to take Sir Bracken off, maybe. Like, they have a better sort of average stats, I think. But having said that, not average stats, I should say average block, pretty much. Their catches are dismal on average. Um, so... So I'm not sure who has the advantage, I suppose, is what I'm getting at. I'm staring at these teams and I'm going, well, I think the Dusters have the advantage simply because their high-end blockers are generally better than almost everybody on the Teeth Man Terrors. And so what that's going to mean is the, these two guys here, Raph and Boris, are going to go wild and just punch the hell out of stuff, probably. That's my guess. Um, they also have better catch stats. On average, the Teeth Man Terrors, I think their low end uh, is, is better. But keep in mind that we're keeping uh, a couple of these dudes off the field. Jason, Joseph, and Marge on the Dusters aren't even on the field. So those are their worst blockers by far. Um, so we will see what the heck happens here. Um, so the uh, Teeth Man Terrors won the toss. They decided to receive. I'm trying out some rules to make kickoffs more forgiving for the receiving team. And that's it. We'll see what happens. So the kick is coming from Forge. Forge is a mediocre kicker. He's going to do a normal kick. And we will see what that means here in a moment. So normal kick's DL10. We are equal. We blow it by seven. Oh, geez. All right. So that's going to suck. Well, you don't get to see the kick rules because we couldn't kick the ball to save our life. We shank it out of bounds. And what that's going to mean is that 
these guys get to put it in the hands of whomever they would like, and they score a point. So the Terrors are up one to nothing, and we haven't even started play yet. Um, so they could put it. Let's see who could put it in. How you could put it in Al Gore's hands and just let him try to take it in, right? Because um, he's going to go one, two, three. Does he have seven move? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sprint, sprint. One, two, three, four, five. So, I mean, in the case of a, a, a turnover like that, I'm going to put the ball in his hands because you can put it in anybody's hands on in the kick. Then he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he could literally just run in if he wins initiative. And his initiative is high, so it's not like his chance is terrible. But I'm going to go one, two more. I'm going to sprint and exert, even though we don't have to, to score. We would like to get farther away from these guys. But he does take six points, and that's that's a, a considerable sum before the game has even really started. But that's him. That's it. That's the free move. And then we're going to roll initiative for round one. And if he goes first, we're done. He scores. C3. C7, C9, C1 does not go to the middle of the pack. Oh, well, that's uh, that was great, but didn't work out. So Sally's going to run up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's about all she can do right now. Next initiative is C7. And he is a move of six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And, I mean, we have to mostly try to protect our ball carrier here until initiative eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go there. I'm going to put a tackle zone on Raph. Raph's dodge is a 14. Uh, I could hit him at 11 to 12. Oh, 11 to 13, so minus two. Or he can dodge out at a plus two. So... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to hit him or if I should just do let him. What's Ven? Ven is a 12. I'm going to hit him to put a block token on him, to, to sh uh, put a defense token on this guy. So we're going to hit him. We put a defense token on him. And we have a 11 because we tackled. We moved to a 13. It's a minus two block. Not, not the most advantageous. It's a minus two. We blow the roll by seven. Ugh, okay. So we knock ourselves over, effectively. And Raph does damage to him. So Raph does a D8. So hopefully we will not be penalized for that. Uh, eight points. That's six points on Roland. So he's down to 29. And next initiative is C9. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next initiative. Now it gets bad. H4. So now we, we pay for our insolence here. Since I think... So this is just a gamble, right? You could have done a one-turn score if he goes first. But we're going to pay for that now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Purple can dash. Run, run backwards and try a tackle. So he's going to do 11... To his 13, though. So, I mean, it's still pretty good. 11 to 13. Um, so, he's a minus 2 block. Oh, but he wins by 8. Holy crap. So, for a minus 2, he wins by 6. So, he's going to push him here. Knock him down. That means the ball is coming out. 100% is coming out. And we need to do damage. We're going to follow up. Done. And you have to do damage now which is a d8 so he does a d8 d4 so just like that nine points down to seven uh down to 20 and just like that that was a terrible idea oh well i thought it might have been fun six so the ball goes one or one two three four five six 
So the ball is right there. The ball is still bouncing. So it's a half, so it's still in. According to the, the rules there, the half hexes are okay for balls to go on. But this team immediately gets an activation. Who's our best catch? The kid has a 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to go eight. So the kid's going to take an exertion. The kid gets two points of exertion. He's down to 28 hit points. So he's okay. And that's the free activation. That's age four. It is now next initiative. But before initiative happens, we are going to scatter that ball. So here's the thing. If it goes out of bounds, it's been last touched by the Terrors. And, oops, they don't have a point, by the way. The Dusters do not have a point. That is my fault. Uh, it goes two. So one, one, two. And that's going to land out of bounds. So they do have a point now. So there you go. The Dusters get a point. Uh, that is a turnover. They're going to put the ball in the kid's hands. And I believe the play just continues because no one's fumbled that ball. So, unfortunately, he is a little bit gummed up. Uh, but he's going to go one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. And... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, he could run up the side too, but he would be dangerously well. I mean, the nice thing is Sally has gone. So let's put the kid here instead. Right. So he started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, he could go two more. I don't know that that helps him. If he's here, can he score a nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, no possible way. You might as well sit back here and let someone uh, uh, take that, uh, take uh, help block with you. So, okay, it is C4's turn. Uh, and I suppose, well, Bjorn could get at him. So really we want him to be where? Here, right? So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. He would have to sprint. That would be a minus three to anything. And so he would all of a sudden be taking, I mean, he could. Well, at a minus three puts you at a 10. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then he has to sprint to get there, and that's one. So he takes a point to Bjorn, so he's down to 34. And technically now he can tackle. Now he's tackling at a minus three total. Um, so he's a 10, the kid is 11, dodge. He blows it. So he blows it by uh, eight. So he falls over trying to tackle the kid on his shoulder or something. The kid does a D6, D4 damage to our guy here. Eight. So that is six points to Bjorn, knocking Bjorn down to 28. 
and taking your tackle zone off him, which sort of uh, sort of sucks. So that's that. It is now C1. I suppose Al's going to get up and... He's allowed to dodge here. You can go on one half hex in a given round. One. So he can go one, two, three, four, five. He could get up. Well, no, he had to get up. So he can only half move. He'd have to dodge out of here, so that's one, two, three, four. He could get up and try to tackle. So let him dodge out. So his dodge is 13. He's going to try to dodge out. He does one, two, three, four. So this is a tackle his block is 12 but that becomes a 10 or a, 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 a 11 so he has an 11 the kid has an 11 but since he's been hit twice it's down to a nine so he's actually plus two on this tackle and he does indeed get it so he's going to take the kid push him over here out of out of bounds potentially Well, and he's knocking him over, right? So he's got to push him here. He's got to try to keep him in bounds if he can. So the kid falls over here. The kid's going to take Al Gore's D8, D4 damage. That's eight points, six points to the kid. Kid's down to 22 points. The ball's going to come out. He's going to follow up, by the way. Ball comes out and a two, so the ball is there and it is bouncing. And he follows up. Um, So the question is, so six is going to move. We could activate six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then activate him again. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we get him up in the play with a free activation. We could grab the ball with a free activation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as a for instance. But you would face these two guys down. Again. Uh, C6 is going to go. H5 and H1 are going to go next. That's these two. H2. So this whole front line is going to go. Palum's going to go. You could bring Sally up. You could stand up Bjorn. Well, we are going to collect the ball. So free activation is one, two, three. And we are going to try to pick that darn thing up. So DL12, Al Gore's catch is a 14. So he's actually a great catcher. So he's up by two on a bouncing ball. He makes it. So the ball is possessed. So that was one, two, three. And we're going to go four, five, six, seven. We are going to start heading upfield a bit. And that was his action. And now it is C6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. It's H5, H1, and H2.
Um, I mean, so he H5 goes, we could sprint Raf and try to take the shot. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's his normal move. We're going to take the, the five points of exertion, so down to 29. We are going to move the extra two. We are going to try a tackle. This is a minus three at this point. So Raf is a 10. Al Gore is going to use his block of a 12. So we're minus two on this attack. And so, and we blow it. No damage or anything, but we do not affect the ball carrier. We do put a second block token on him. We can do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, sprint. Oh no, Boris has seven. So that is a 12. Um, he's used two of his defenses already. So 12 to 11. So we're up by one on this block. Oh, we blow it. We blow it up by one. So we are down by four. It knocks him over. And he is done. Wow. And now that's a third block. Callum's going to come up and try to get this ball out. This guy has stood very tall here. This is his third defense. So he's 13, 12, 11, 10 on his fourth defense. Callum is a 10. It's an equal up block now. Equal up block, that does succeed in pushing him. So he will push him. He will follow. <clears throat> and we're going to do damage to Al Gore, and that is a D8, D4. And see if it's enough. It's 9 down to 7. That pushes Al Gore to 13 points. But it is not enough to wound him. You need 8 to wound Al Gore. So he doesn't fall over. He's still up. He still has the ball. He has very much weathered that storm there. Um, and so now you have, say, C2 Ven, who can't catch worth a crap. Um, but it is his turn. So let's see if we can do anything with his turn. So you do have a problem. I mean, you've you've stood this up, but you do have an issue, and that issue is there are guys all over you. You need some way to get the ball out of this little mess here, uh, and I don't know what that way is. So either we hit this guy or we just, um, you know, our, we, we, we park ourselves somewhere else. But we're going to hit this guy. It's going to be an 11 to 11. Uh, screwed it up, knocked himself over, done. And the last guy is the kicker, H9, forge, one, two, three, four, five, six, and done. So that's it. It is round two. Uh, we collect all the block tokens. And roll round two. Uh, H3 is first, so the kid is first. Kid gets up. And he's going to get out. Well, he's going to, yeah, he's going to dodge out. One, two, three, four. 
Al Gore here is a 12. The kid has a, an 11 dodge. Uh, he does blow it. He blows it by enough that we knock the kid down. So we trip him on the way out and do damage. So the kid takes another little box of damage there. It's seven. It's five points. Kid's down to 17. And he is done. So that wasn't, uh, that was ill-advised for him. Next initiative is one. It's Al Gore. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we could wait for circle nine to go. Then we'd have to preempt H2 here, Boris. Uh... We could try to get out of dodge just before, but that means one dodging out two, three, four, five, six. Are we seven? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but that doesn't help us. No, we're not in the middle of all of them. We could try to run back and at least vaguely cloud around this guy. We have a lot of dudes on the ground, which is part of the problem. He did take a block. Um, going here is just going to be a mess because you're going to get stuck here and then just gang tackled. So getting out of dodge is the way to go. So I'm going to go one. We're going to dodge out. Callum is going to block 10 against our dodge of 13. So let's see. We're three up on a dodge. We succeed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he is done. That's going to lead us to nine. One, two, three, four. We're going to take a handoff, so it's just a catch of eight or, oh, we blow that by quite a bit. So that ball comes out, and it goes five that way. And the hexes immediately get a move. On a bouncing ball, the dusters, I mean, they have a couple folks that are... Good to go here. But this is also plus two uh, to catch this ball. So it's a DL 14, actually. So Raph would be good. Uh, do we want to... And getting him on the ball is always good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll just leave him there. Done. That's the free activation. C9 is done. It is now H2's activation. Before the activation, though, we're going to move this ball in the direction 6. And it's going to keep bouncing. So Raf has the option to catch it or get out of the way. We're going to try to catch it with our catch 14. We're up by 2 to catch. Uh, we blow it, actually. But only by one, because this is technically, it's eight to nine. Oops. So we're going to expend. Raf takes two. He's down to 27. Done, like that. And he possesses the ball. And that's it. Boris is going to get up. 
and then go one, two, three, four, half move done. Boris is done. Uh, it's C4, Bjorn. Uh, Bjorn will get up. <sighs> I think he's just going to get up and he's going to hit uh, Callum. He's up by what, three? Oh, he blows it. He blows it by five. So he falls over. But no damage, but he does fall the heck over. That's lame. Okay, H4. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Done. H1 gets to go. That's Raf. So, I mean, I hate to say it, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to sprint two. One, two. And we take two more damage from the exertion. So now we've outrun our, def our, uh, our blockers. We'll see how this goes. It's H8. One, two, three, four, five, six. Callum is going to sprint to put tackle zones on those two guys. Two points. Uh, C3 is up. So, I mean, she could try to dodge out. She has a decent chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She would have to sprint to here. She would have to take two dice. She'd be at a minus three. She'd have an eight. Versus Raph's 14. So she'd be six down. So I don't even know that that makes a great deal of sense. Um, but let's try to get out first. So let's try to dodge out. Her dodge is 11. Callum is a 10. She's actually up one on this dodge. And she blows it by a point. So we have the option to do damage or tie her up. Callum's going to tie her up. So she is done. Uh, Sally's move is ended. Now it's H5. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're just going to sit there and dare them to come out effectively. Uh, C6 is going to try to dodge out. He's a nine. Nine to ten. He is down by one on this. But he succeeds. So one. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, and then he's going to have to go seven, eight. So he's going to have to take this. He takes eight points of damage. To do that. Does he want to hit him at a minus three? Eight, two, no. But he just puts a tackle zone on him. He is done. Uh, C2 is going to get up. Uh, 
Uh, gets up. Just gonna go there in case we get a favorable initiative roll. H9. One, two, three, four, five. And he is done. And then C7 is up. Roland's gonna get up. He's gonna take a plus one block on Kel. And he blows it and gets himself knocked over again. So he is up and down. And that is it though. That is leads us to turn three. And what do we got? We have H5, H8, and H1. Uh, C6, C1, and C4 could preempt and blitz, but uh, that blitzing is going to take a minus two penalty to actions. So you'd be at nine to 14. Wow, you would be way down on there. So we got H5. Um, H8 and H1. So these two get to go first. I mean, I think H5 is going to sit here because H5 has tied all these folks up. So they're just going to wait. And hold their action. Maybe they'll need it later for something wacky. Um, and that is, oops, we need to take the block markers off. And that is H5's turn. It is now H8's turn. Uh, Callum will hit, uh, uh, sure, he'll try. He'll try to hit Sally. He's a minus one to do it. 10 to 10. Not going to do it. So that's a nothing. Now it is H1. I think so. C6 has the option of just sitting here. He's got an 11 to try the 14. So he's three. He'd be three up on a dodge out. Three up on a dodge out. Or, or way down on a block, or both, unless we knocked ourselves over. I think, I think we're going to not blitz and let him try to walk out of here. So we're going to go one, and that's a dodge of 14 versus 11. So we're three up on the dodge. Oh, but we do not get the dodge. So we are three up on the dodge. Uh, which means we we failed by two. We could do damage or tie him up. We're going to tie him up. So his move is over. So we have we have effectively held on to him and kept him here. Now we can try to block him if we would like. And we are an 11 to his 14. We're still down by three on the block. No, and then we crush ourselves on, on his uh, amazing athleticism here. So we're going to take 10. That's eight points. Varger takes eight. Uh, that is 18. Uh, I think we're going to, Al Gore is going to I think we're going to hit Kel. 
Uh, we don't do anything. Done. C4 gets up. One, two, three. Just ties I dude up. Done. H2. Oh, well, there you go. Boris. Grr. We did tie them up at least reasonably so. We're going to take our plus one block here. So that is a successful push. We're going to push. We're going to go there. D10, D4 on Bjorn. That's seven. That's five points on Bjorn. Bjorn is down to 23. Oh, we can't dodge worth crap. This guy is so clumsy. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could hit him. Uh, we're, that is a mess. That is a mess, sir. Sure, we'll try it. Bam. We are down by some huge number, actually. Uh, five to seven to ten. So we're down by three. We actually succeed by two. So we are going to take a hit, but we are going to get away. Five. So that's three. Ben takes three. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to hit it at 11 and put a block token on. It's the second block token, actually, because uh, uh, Varger hit him and screwed up. So his defense is 13 now. Dodge first, 13 now. We are a 11 to 13. We're a minus two block up here. Oh, but we do get it. Gonna knock him over there. And that ball is gonna come out. One. Oh, and so, and we'd follow or not. So we're gonna follow. The ball is gonna come out onto us. We have to decide whether we want to catch it or not. He is bad at catching. But he's going to try because he sort of has to because he can't get out of the way very well either. So uh, 12 to what's his catch? Eight. That is a success. So we have caught the ball. So Ven goes, knocks this guy, does D8, D4 to Raph. Six, so four points to Raph. And now we get a free activation. Uh, and I think we've hit Cal once too with Al Gore, just so we know. Um, who are we going to free activate? We could get the ball up field. And that might not be a bad idea just to move the ball. But I don't know what offense we're going to have available to us. 
Purple's a decent block. We are a okay block. Not a great dodd. To get gig out of people's zone is not our gig. Uh, I think we free activate. Yeah, let's do Van. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll give him the yards. <laughs> he, he gets a couple yards. He's good. And that's his action. He is done. It's now H4's action. Sorry, some of that was just literally figuring out who's who here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And just get us in position, actually. I don't love the sprinting around and taking hit points just to take a shitty block. Let's let's get uh I think Sally hits Callum. Plus one. She's gonna knock him and knock him over. She does D eight, D four. Uh, that's three points to Callum. And now what? C9. Yeah. So Wheezy, what is Wheezy going to do? Uh, she could hit Forge. She's going to hit Forge. Wheezy hits Forge. It's an even up block. I'm pretty sure, right? 10 on a... Oh, yeah, she blew it. And she gets hurt. So he does D8, D4 to Wheezy. 11, that's 9 to Wheezy. Uh, that is enough, unfortunately, for a wound check on the Weezer. 6, the Weezer is stunned. Put a stun mark on her. And that is her turn. It is H3's turn. One, two, three, four. The kid gets up, starts to run. It is H9's turn. So there you go. So he actually has a free one, two, three, four shot. It's a nine to 12, it's minus three shot, that was a problem. No, nothing, done. And C7 gets to go. And actually we'll pull Ven out before uh, nine goes and he'll have to dodge out of Al Gore's block here. He's one down on a dodge. He succeeds by one, so he can be, he's going to be hit. So D8 from Al Gore on Kel. That's four points to Kel. And then Kel gets to dodge out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that would be his second hit. The first one did not much. The second one is at a minus one. It is a 10 to 10, even up, because second defense. It fails by three, so he doesn't get anything done. And then it is C7's turn. C7 gets up. He's going to do that, and he is done. 
And we're going to take the block markers off of everybody and execute execute turn four as the teams trade up and down the field, smacking their ball carrier um, and taking the ball away. So who is first? H1 is first. Graf gets up. And he can go one, two, three. And he is done. H2 is up. Bjorn de Boris. Yeah. So we could dodge out, take a big old minus three. Uh, 12 to 13. So he's down one on the, on the, on the, which one call even. I don't think it would be bad to get your body over there, but we have a lot of bodies over there. So I'm not necessarily sure. Not necessarily sure. I'm going to, I'm going to take my, my good shot here. Let's, let's use, let's use our bodies here to. So we're one up on a block against their, arguably one of their better blockers. So that is a hit for certain. We're going to push him straight back. We'll follow up. And we do D10, yep, D10, D4, to Bjorn. Only seven, so only five to Bjorn. He's almost in peril, though, so, you know, at least, least good there. Uh, C1 is up. That is him. So one, two, three, four... Five. So minus one, but we're still one up. We're 11 to 10. We are one up on this tackle. Um, I mean, that's, that is a push. Let me go straight back because I can. I'm going to do damage. Agor's D8, D4. Only six, only four to forge. And that is 28 on forge. Doesn't knock him out right down or out or anything. But it does only put one guy on the ball, which is sort of nice. We might be able to club him off of there here before, before uh, uh, Varger has to move. But Corporal can come up. And just do a plain old block. One, two, three. Oops. So Corporal comes up. One, two, three. He's going to plain old block Van here. It is 12 to 12 even up. Oh, and that's a push. So we're going to push him that way and follow. And we do damage. It's a D8. Five, three points only, two, vent. Doesn't knock the ball out, though. But it does give us a shot there. Kel's an 11. Ven is a 12, but a 10, because it's his second time getting hit this round. So we are one up, and we are all the way up. 
So we're going to take him and push him there. We will follow. It's going to knock him down and it's going to do standard D84 damage. That's 10 points. That is eight points to that. 21. And this ball is coming out. Six. So the ball is here. Uh, we get an immediate activation again. Can you pick up the ball, Kel? No. I mean, you can a little bit. Corporal. Eh, no. Forge. Uh, I don't love it. I don't love it. Who's our best? Catch nine. Catch nine. Pass 11. Uh, I say we... You could just put a bunch of people around it as a for instance. Or at least one guy around it. But I think we're going to go... Kel gets the activation. So one, two... Kel's going to grab it. Kel is going to uh, be down by three. So Kel is not going to get this ball. And she is going to drop the ball. And that ball is going to go which way? Four. So it's going to go that way. And the circle folk are going to get a free activation. Ben has a catch of eight. Ugh. He's going to stand and he's going to hit Kel. One up. Uh, good enough. He's going to push Kel. He's going to follow, knock Kel down, and Ben is going to do D8, D4 to Kel. Uh, eight, nine, that is eight. And that is wound uh, range, though, for Cal. Uh, nine is at least rough there. It's a triple. It's bruise, bleed, and slow on Cal. So that means that uh, her initiative is down. to one, her speed is down to five, and all her skills are, are minus one right now. So we're gonna put the, the tokens on her. Bruise, bleed, and slow. And she's taking an attack. And he is going to use his four teeth of the wolf to actually make that a double bleed. So she is bleeding twice. So two points around every time she, she acts until she is off the field. Um, C 
So that is CH5's action. It is now C2's action, so it's Varger's action. And now we're going to get the ball to bounce. The ball bounces here like this. He's got a 50-50 to pick it up as it rests. He does not unless he wants to exert. He's going to exert two to succeed. That's five points to Van. Oh, it's not Varger, it's Van. So he can't do that. Van is in peril now, so but Van has the ball. It is Van's turn. I think Ben just makes a god awful run for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many hit points does Van have left? 16 of 35. Ugh. Uh, do we preserve those points and not exert, or do we run the extra two just to make it harder on all these people that are going to try to get him? Uh, yeah, we're good. We'll sit on it. We'll assume our team can sit on these guys. Uh, I think Roland hits Forge. He's two up. He's just going to hit him. Uh, he succeeds in pushing him, so he will push him here and move up. He will do his D8, D4 damage to Forge. Forge has a bunch of hit points. That's 10, 8 points, which is enough for a possible wound on Forge. A 4. A bleed. Okay. Uh, that's that for him. Uh, C2 is gone. C7 is gone. It's H9 and H3. Uh, that is our... Oh, he's been knocked over, too. That is true, because he took a wound. Uh, oof. And he's going to, by the way, lose a point, because he's bleeding. That knocks him down a little bit more. Oh, man, this puts him in a rough position. Forge is a 10. Roland is a 12. Don't know what to do with Forge right now. Uh, I'm going to stand him up. I'm going to take the minus one, two, the minus two block. Uh, he at least does damage. So he's going to push him. That he's going to do D8 plus damage on him. That is six, four points, four points to Roland. Roland's down to 25. H9 is done. Now H3, the kid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven.
I mean, or we put him here and he just, yeah, we'll put him and hopefully next round you can be first effectively. Uh, H, uh, C3, we'll just run Sally up. Uh, where is Sally? Sally is, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, done. C9 is stunned, unstunned, done. H8. Uh, Callum will get up. Uh, but we won't earn a shot at that guy, are we? Sure. That's a nine block against an 11. We're two down, though. And we blow it, and Callum takes damage from Bjorn. Bjorn is D10. Oof, Bjorn's a big boy. You probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, two, six, four points to Callum. It's not so bad. And now we have C4 and C6. Varger's taking a break. He's going to roll a D6 here, catch his breath. He gets a 6, actually, so that brings him up to 24. So that's good. So he's going to take a breath. He is done. Uh, C4, who's just taken, taken a couple of shots here. Uh, Bjorn. What was Bjorn doing? 18 of 35. Bjorn's going to take a, a, a breather. Three. And that is... Uh, that's the initiative. That's, that's everybody. That is turn four. We, so we are, we are, uh, done with turn four. Everybody's gone. It looks like a score for the Keith men terrors. It really does because I mean, Ben's not super fast comparatively. In fact, he is dead slow. But I only see a couple people that are in position to get him. And my guess is all those people will be tied up, knocked down, whatever, in the meantime. I, I you know, that's the goal. So it doesn't look super good here for the dusters. Um so we'll see what happens. So there you go. There's turns one through four. Um, not bad, not bad. I'm anxious to see if Ven gets in the end zone. We have a couple knockdown guys. I mean, I suppose Corporal could try. Raf, if it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, can't get there. The kid could get there and throw a token block at him. Excuse me. I was, I was at least an hour in. So, All right. That's it. We're going to uh, save this here um, so that we can come back to it here in a bit. Save that. And that. And that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.